What's up YouTube? All right, today is gonna be a quick video. I'm just gonna pull out all the packs out of the server rack and check them all for bad fuses or bad soldering. I also got some of that Kapton tape, this yellow stuff. It's kind of a love-hate relationship, especially for tearing apart packs. kind of a love-hate relationship with this stuff, you know, because if you want to tear open a pack, this stuff is a pain. But it sticks pretty good, so I'm going to wrap the positive end, so hopefully it'll be a little more sturdy, and whenever I connect or disconnect the packs, it might not move as much and therefore hopefully not break any more fuses. So that's going to be the plan today. Oh, and I am going to move all of the voltmeters to the same side. So whenever I start doing some more testing, I won't have to run back and forth, you know, to check voltages on packs. So yeah, that's the plan. Let's get to it. Yeah. So this pack, actually all of them were good. So I'm just going to wrap the end down here and that's it. Throw it back in. definitely not as pretty as it was but I'm hoping that these will not move nearly as much just wrapping it about one and a half times that's pretty much all I'm doing so far I've I've only found maybe five to six bad fuses well broken fuses I should say and some of these oh, hi bud I'm actually going through and physically touching every fuse to make sure I soldered them all The ones that I am replacing down here, I'm kind of trying to make like an S in the fuse a little bit so it'll give it a little bit of wiggle room if I can, a little bit of flex.
Two more. Found two of them. There's one on both sides right here. just tape this before I soldered the other side but I don't want to forget which side the meter goes on all right so this is that low pack that I had uh, it had a couple broken fuses and a couple solder joints that were not not even connected at all. So I did charge it up actually with just one TP4056 just to bring it up high enough so I could reconnect the fuses. That's pretty much it for that. Other than that, they're all sitting around 3.78 roughly. So I'll just hook it back up for now and then I'll probably rebalance it on the top end. Yeah, that's about it. That's all I got. All right, so I guess I only found, uh, I don't remember how many fuses, there was at least a good 10 or so that were broken. And I only had the one fuse that had the solder joint that was just not connected whatsoever. I did physically check every single fuse and all of them appear to be connected, so hopefully I won't have any more of the weak packs. I did charge up that one pack with a single TP4056, and yes, it did take forever all the way up to what was it 3.8 something and yeah it did take forever but I wanted to get it ah yeah I wanted to get it a little bit higher so I could reconnect those fuses because I didn't feel like draining the whole pack or whatever I just wanted to bring it up so that's what I ended up doing so we have all the positive ends wrapped in the capped on tape hopefully that will work a little better. I guess I'll find out in the future from moving packs around or doing whatever I need to do. And moving the voltmeters to one side is a pretty good idea, if I must say so myself. The voltmeters aren't going to be permanent. They're just there for like the main testing to make sure everything is working correctly. I'll probably end up moving them somewhere. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I just want a good visual for this whole testing phase so I don't ruin the pack, you know bring the pack down too far like I already did. I think what I'm gonna be doing next is, I still haven't been able to get up on the roof to put solar panels out. It's just been too hot during the daytime and ugh, it sucks when you're out there doing that. So I'm gonna try to do it on a weekend, maybe towards the later part of the day so it's not so hot and sunny, but probably put at least two panels up on the roof temporarily so I can recharge the pack all the way because I kinda wanna redo the top balance. I don't wanna do the bottom balancing because I don't ever plan on going that low like I did with that last test. So I would rather go on the top balance because I would be hopefully more on the top end. And I guess I will probably also set up the PCM60X charge controller here hopefully in the next couple of days. So that will be ready for the temp installed solar panels. But if anybody needs capped on tape, I'll put a link down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. And... Hi, buddy. Hi. Come on, dude. Out of the way. And... No, no, bud. I don't... No. No, no, no. Okay.
can't. I gotta... I gotta solder, dude. I gotta solder some stuff, dude. Now this is the week pack that I had, and what I did is I just... Am I recording? Alright, so this was the week pack that I had that had the couple of um, beeps in it. Uh, um, uh, no, it should, I mean, the, the, uh,